Hey guys, what's going on? My name is VK and welcome to another exciting and brand new Phenomenal Creatures video effect tutorial. Hope you guys all doing well as you always do. And today we're gonna make a very simple and a very straightforward tutorial effect here. It's not so super hard, but there's a lot of cool things I want to show you that can really up your video effect game here. So I'm taking the I'm trying to make your newspapers and picture frames come alive with, with real life footage in um, integrations. Um, very similar to the Harry Potter effect you can see in their movie. Movies. They're happening all the time everywhere where the, the characters inside the picture frames and newspapers just reacting with the people outside and that's so I'm gonna show you how to edit those inside a newspaper and also into a picture frame as you saw in the beginning and and before uh, I want to begin this tutorial, I want to tell you that if you want to use my footage, you can download it in the description as always, if you want to follow along with that. Uh, that in mind, I want to tell you that this video is divided into two sections. The first section just talking about how to integrate um, footage to this kind of 2D, uh, very two-dimensional space here, doing the color correction, the matching, the tracking and everything. And then the second... Um, uh, section I want to cover all how to make those cool reflections because those are very very important to have if you, I can turn this on and off you can see if you're just doing the same thing here with a natural reflections it doesn't look as natural as if I put those reflections in those are very important so I will cover those also in this very video so before or not before let's ju let's just jump to the tutorial itself shall we guys because that's why you're here so let's go ahead and take our our newspaper main footage because we have to create a new composition that's how this begins so let's take the newspaper uh, footage and drop it to the new composition button right here and here we can see it doesn't have all uh, these uh, the integrations I put all these three there for themselves I'm just gonna show you how to integrate this one and then just repeat the process uh, throughout all these three images here so let's go ahead and find uh, a point where I want to begin uh, this this track here I would say something around this area could be cool. Uh, let's hit B on our keyboard and for just to trim the beginning of the composition. Uh, let's let's go to the somewhere around here. That should be enough. And click N on your keyboard if you want to trim the comp from the back end of the comp. Let's just right click on this gray bar and take trim comp to work area so we don't have to work with this zoomed in uh, thing over here. So let's go ahead and look at this. Looks pretty solid. I was shooting this sort of on a fluid head tripod, so it should be pretty stable and should be pretty easy to track. So, and that's our second move here. We have to go ahead and track our footage. And there is uh, so many ways how you can track your footage. You can use third-party uh, trackers like Fein or 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 something else, or just a 3D camera tracker. You can choose for yourself. I self. Um, I will use the Mocha Tracker, which is inbuilt to After Effects. It really works with these kind of simple trackings, and they're super powerful. But you can use any kind of tracker if you want. And if you want to use Fane, they um, just use it. It's they have made this super easy if you want to use that. But let's go ahead and begin tracking this. I'm gonna use the Mocha Tracker. So let's go ahead and select the newspaper com um, layer here, not the composition. Let's go to animation and find track in Mocha AE. So when you click that, it will start. Um, launching another piece of software inside which is working together with After Effects. So I don't re register, I have registered it like 600 times but it's still not working. I don't know why. Let's go and click on OK and we have to, let's go ahead and overwrite this because I have done this before. Um, so how to use Mocha? Very, very simply. Let, let's go ahead and just drag it to the, to the end. I usually track always from the end. That's just what I do because I'm crazy. So what I'm do is gonna hit this um, this magnified tool. Let's go a bit closer because I want to see this square a little bit better. Let's go ahead and hit the the pen X tool, whatever that's called, and let's go ahead and just click on the corners of this uh, image frame here. Like this. Let's close that up. Let's go ahead and and just drag these blue rods to the end or far away corner, so we make this the tracking area square that will help improve finding the contrast points for the for the tracking like that. And let's go ahead and grab single point and look at the square in the top left. You can see there and really try to match the the corner so it's in the corner right here. Um, so let's let's just do it like this. 
quick and dirty. But there's so much contrast w between the, the white paper and um, the black image, so or the dark image. So it should be pretty pretty obvious how to do this. Then we're just gonna click on this track backwards uh, button right here. So that will start make the computer start to. Depending on your computer speed, this will take a while or not. So this will take a small while for me, a couple minutes. So we'll cut to the part where this is done. So yeah. All right. So once your computer has solved this tracking, let's go ahead and see if the tracking has worked. So we can see it's for in my case it has thrown a little bit so in this kind of effect it's really important for the track to work perfectly because we don't want any kind of footage floating around so let's really put the time in to fix this track so in mocha there's an awesome cool feature how you can fix the track if it throws a little you, you don't have to be like oh man i have to track all over again this doesn't work it does so let's go to the adjust track panel this is a very very cool feature to have to adjust the track and once you have adjusted it in this first frame here because we track from uh, backwards which is a very cool thing so it will apply the whole adjustment for the whole track so it's not just for this frame so let's go ahead and just drag these to the far corners we want them to and awesome so if if you now review the clip it looks it's sticking to the ground even though we just adjusted for the first frame it's like you have changed the the all the points for the whole track even though it just processed it like a couple minutes all right so now we have our track let's go ahead and export the tracking data into after effects how we can do that super easy let's just click on the export tracking data button here and let's now select the right uh, the right version here so because this is position there's no scale but there's rotation because the camera is panning on its own axis we have to uh, select this transform data with position, scale, and rotation, and then just click on the copy to clipboard button. So now it's like for command, uh, for con uh, like command C, command V, like uh, copy paste inside in on your dashboard. So in your clipboard, <laughs> I can't speak even English today. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing this. Um, the track, let's put the tracking data over here. So let's go ahead and right click and click on new and null object. We can go ahead and rename this by hitting the return key or enter key and, and just name it track simply so now a very very important thing when you paste uh, the the footage uh, the tracking data remember to be on the first frame because yeah it, you just have to be on the first frame you can't put the first frame of the tracking here because that will mess up everything go to the first frame of the comp hit command v control v and just or edit paste and you will get your tracking data here you can click u on your keyboard to see all those amazing keyframes for position uh, scale and rotation awesome so now we have that and now it's time to integrate some footage here all right so if you want to integrate some footage I don't, my method is not just to put, for example, this train, uh, this train subway uh, footage and just try to rotate and scale it so it matches and parent to the null. That would be too easy and that wouldn't look good in the end. I will tell you why um, or then don't. But I'm going to show you now how I do this using alpha mats. So alpha mats are a super big help here. So let's go ahead and let's have no, and no layer activated here. Let's go zoom into this, uh, this box here. And let's uh, click on G or select the pencil and we're going to go ahead and create a shape layer. So let's go ahead and make a shape layer right here. And we're going to, here's a small curve. So let's go ahead and make a small like this curve here to follow along the, the curve here, curvature here. Like this and just play around with the, the values here. Not the values, so just the points, so we can follow along with the picture. Now you probably understand why we can't use just scale and rotation because we can get that awesome form of the paper just to look a bit more special. Awesome, looks cool, cool enough. We can always. Um, the magic of using a shape layer, we can always go manipulate the shape here. And we're going to use this as an alpha mat for our footage. And how this works is let's go ahead and in the beginning, let's just rename this to, uh, to image one alpha. All right. So what we do then is we go ahead and drag our footage 
or our asset of your own choice. I have this this train footage and tree footage from a very cool video service I want to shout out right now is to VDZ. They are a cool service to reach out to me to tell you guys that they have a website for stock footage in 4K resolution and 1080p resolution for absolutely free of charge. So if you want to go there and download some video stock footage just as I have done here with this 4K train element in the subway that's cool and and have a tree here that's also very very nice to have so a bunch of cool stock footage go check them out link in the description go check this out if you want some free stock footage to use in your own newspaper integrations okay back to business let's go ahead and drop in our train uh, train footage I want to use here and let's go ahead and drop that underneath our alpha layer so this is 4k so this file is massive so let's go ahead and scale it down using the S parameter and let's just position it right here and now comes the magic let's go ahead and rotate it using the W key or the rotation like this let's go scale it down a little bit more something like this 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 is okay for now okay it looks terrible for now but let's go ahead and fix that let's go to the the, the track uh, the, the track mat and let's change it to alpha for the image one alpha and what that does is taking that white shape layer and making that as an alpha mask for our train so now we can I can basically I can move this I can scale this up if I want to just to demonstrate I can move inside this white uh, box area here and that will works as my alpha mat so I can move this freely frame it how I want and don't have to figure out to stitch it uh, by scaling and rotating and everything that cool so this is a very cool method and I really recommend I have not seen anyone use this method on this effect before so now you know so that, that we have that alpha mat there but it's still it's not sticking to the ground it looks terrible what 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 the hell is going on so that, okay that's just we haven't paired this to the null the track element so let's go ahead and take our uh, the image our alpha layer and let's go ahead and parent that to the track and also let's parent the train layer to the track so now when we look at it now it's paired so now it's living in on the web on the on the newspaper so that's super cool so but now you can see it doesn't match at all it's too sharp it's too hard edges the, the colors doesn't match we have to fix these issues so let's go ahead and do that so let's go first and make this a little bit softer f so it matches the the softness of this video so let's go ahead and take the image one alpha let's find from effects and presets panel the roughen edges roughen edges effect and let's put that on the image one alpha Let's go ahead and t take the fractal influence down to zero. Let's go a bit more closer. And take the edge sharpness down. So that's just like blurring out a bit of the edges. Not too much, just a subtle amount. You can drop the border down to six also, you don't have to be that great. J just to soften it up a little bit. And also, you can now, if you want to, you can go ahead and and adjust these, these points here and that's the awesome part of using a shape layer because you can adjust the aspect ratios as you want and the form as you need to so that's super handy so here we can see some of them so let's go fix those because the blur is a little bit taking off the to make it blur you have to a little bit feather from the inside so let's go fix those and that looks super cool Awesome. Okay, so now it's a bit more blurred. It's matching more to newspaper, but we still have to f fix those colors. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go farm from the effects and presets panel the tritone, tritone effect here, and let's go ahead and pull that on the train layer, and let's go and play with these colors. So I want the shadows to be somewhere around this text here. That's like the same. The, that's the black parts. The highlight, uh, the mid tones, I want to be the same as the the paper here, and the highlights also something around the paper. And just play around, make this a bit more like grayish, a little on the yellow side, like this. And you can also go play around with this if you want to. Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. It's very solid. I like how this is looking. So this is the basic principle of this effect. So now you just repeat all that process uh, for every image you want to, and then you basically have this. So also what I did is put my, or, or the Final Crushes logo here, and I just took away the, the, the text here and just replaced it with my text, so. All right, so now once we have done this, it looks pretty solid, but there's one more thing I want to do just to add a, that little extra bit of uh, detail and realism is that this uh, jar here is casting a shadow on the newspaper. You can see this form here casting a shadow, but it's not affecting our, our layer here. And that should be done if we just want to add that, that realism. So let's go ahead and fix that by creating a new adjustment layer. Then let's go ahead and parent that. Let's go to the first frame and let's parent that to the track right in the beginning. Then let's go ahead and take our pen tool and make a mask just around the, the form of the shadow, but on the newspaper, of course. Like this, like that. That looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and find the curves adjustment. Curves adjustment over here and just go drop that on the adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and drop it down A real settle amount. We don't have to put a lot a lot of deep brightening here just so it's a little bit more uh, Darker let's make it a bit more darker Okay, there's a little too of a harsh of an edge there. It's really easily fixed. Let's go ahead and hit F on your keyboard for mask feather Let's go feather that out to something like 20% and that looks pretty solid. It's very subtle, but it, it works. It really helps uh, selling that shadow effect. And if you want to, we can go ahead and add here another streak. So let's go ahead and do that so I'm not confusing you. So what I will do is I will go uh, duplicate this adjustment layer, go to the mask, and we'll go delete this mask. And then let's go take the pen tool and just take this area where this is affecting. Add some some disformation so it doesn't look so so for me. Let's go ahead and make it a little less dark, just a tiny touch. And let's go ahead and drop that uh, feather up to something like fifteen percent, and there we have an extra piece of shadow. And also that is in the track, so it looks pretty awesome. Now we got the shadow, so it's realistic. It looks like the paper is bent, even though it's not. Okay, it's the bent, but the effect the the effect is not bad, so. That looks pretty cool. So that was that was the the basic principle of how to use this effect. So now let's go ahead and move up to the to the next part of the tutorial, which is showing how to cast those amazing reflections if you have natural reflections and you want to still still uh, integrate some own footage there. So let's go ahead and check out how to do that. So guys, I have taken the liberty to track and match our footage for the picture frame. You know already how to do this in the previous section I showed you just a couple minutes ago. So now we're gonna add those cool reflections. And so before we can do anything, we have to know what kind of reflections we have to recreate. So let's go ahead and solo our picture frame footage here. So we can see what the main um, reflections look like. And this is just my parents uh, when they got married. So yay, cool, but let's not let that distract us. Uh, so here's the reflections. We have this natural window here, which is reflecting from the background. And then we have this gradient, a gradient which is going from up down to up, which is fading up. And um, that's just the light leaking from the window. So we have to recreate those. And um, it's a very simple method. It's just to mask out this, this window light and paste it, but that won't work really actually because if we head and click S on our keyboard or position or rotation, you can see the text is red. So it's bonded to the track we have used. So we can't manipulate any kind of things for this layer. And so we have to fix that some way. So it's pretty easy actually. So let's go ahead and find our picture frame our main footage here and drop it again as just in a single layer on top of everything. So now what that does give us, we can now manipulate the scale and all the properties as a single layer. So what we have to do is because this is in a different time than the clip here, we have to go ahead and match it in time. So it, it will match in the end. So let's go ahead and click T on our keyboard and drop down the opacity to something like 20%. Let's go ahead and click off our brother layer. Let's kick up to 35 so we can see something. Let's go ahead and just drag the footage 
so it's so it matches awesome that looks cool and let's go ahead and bump that opacity up to 100 let's go ahead and also right click on the footage and type in time and freeze frame just a precaution matter that if there would be any kind of different kind of movements so it wouldn't interfere with the reflection we're going to use let's go ahead and click G on our keyboard to get to our masking tool and let's make a very simple mask around this reflected part awesome now let's go ahead and turn on the brother layer so we can see what's happening let's go ahead and turn the picture frame to screen so all the all the black uh, blackness is going away from the dress and the shadows of there we just kept the highlights it still looks a pretty funky here so we have to go fix that let's go ahead and hit f on our keyboard for mask feather let's kick that feather up so we can get some a little bit more soft because it's soft in the real life too then we can go ahead and drop the opacity to something like maybe 75 percent that looks pretty solid so then we have we can't forget that we have to parent to the track and that looks pretty solid right there so now we have our first reflection but now we need the light leak from that reflection as we saw in this clip also we need this blue tinted uh, gradient that's leaking from the window light it's also very simple to do let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer command alt y control alt y on a mac or pc and just or new adjustment layer. you know the deal and let's call this light leak and how we're going to do this is we're going to go to the effects and presets panel and find gradient ramp and that will make this white and black gradient and we need that we don't have to change these values yet so let's just drop in it to screen in the blending mode so that takes always all the blacks so we just have things have a highlight highlight thing going on here so the thing we can do here now is we can go and close this layer just for a second let's go ahead to the pen tool and let's zoom in a bit and let's make a very simple mask around that picture frame like that if we turn on the the layer again now we can see the the gradient happening so now we have to go change it so it looks a little, a little bit more natural and so it's closer to the original footage so let's go ahead and drop the the white color here on the bottom and let's take the black color and take it down we don't want this white to be this strong so let's go ahead and pull that closer to the black one so the screen blending mode takes everything black away so basically putting this white more to the black side is just making it more transparent let's just make a, a settle amount here that looks cool let's just maybe drop this up a bit let's click OK and then we can go ahead and this output like this let's go back to the color and let's go to the to the light blue Let's just kick on a little bit of that light bluish there so we can get a little bit of that light blue there awesome so let's go ahead and feather these uh, edges a little bit just so we can get that smooth edge there and by doing that you can go ahead and adjust these points and also you have to go ahead and parent that to your track also so it moves accordingly so now this looks pretty freaking solid let's go check this out let's go ahead and turn all these off this is without the reflections and this is with the reflections it's so much more realistic and it's so nice now so this was the pretty much the effect hope you guys did enjoy this one and if you did um keep on learning that was it was a very cool it was nice for you to follow along Thanks for watching guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial don't forget to give me a like and a comment down below. Click on the links on the left side of the screen right now if you want to keep on learning with previous tutorials on this channel. And click on the circular icon on the right side of the screen and consider subscribing to this channel and never miss out on a video. Until next time, stay phenomenal.